Hello and welcome to this tutorial video which will provide with you a quick overview on how to fill in and submit a project proposal in the One GMS. Project proposals are created in response to an active allocation, visible here in your One GMS homepage. You can access the allocation's details and priorities by clicking on these folders. To create a project proposal, click on this icon. Fill in all the preliminary fields determining the main characteristics of your project. Once you have selected your sector, click here to add it. Then indicate their respective percentages. Once all fields are filled in, click on Create Project. You will be able to edit this data in your project draft before submitting your proposal. This is how the project proposal is displayed on the One GMS, with previously entered information being automatically generated in the header. We strongly advise you to fill in the tabs from the left to the right, as some information will be necessary to fill in the following tabs. For instance, you'll need a filled and saved log frame tab to fill in the work plan tab as activities provided in the first tab will be copied in the second one. In all tabs, mandatory fields will be marked with a red asterisk. When available, you can hover over the info icon to display more guidance. Or click on this button. If you need more help to fill in any of these tabs, click on this link which will redirect you to the corresponding help portal article. After entering information in a tab, do not forget to click on save. The system will not keep unsaved data when navigating through the tabs. The save buttons are also available at the bottom of each tab. Once you completely filled in and saved a tab, the red header disappears indicating that all information provided is valid. If some fields are missing or data is not correctly entered, an error message will be displayed on the erroneous tab. The first tab, the Overview tab, allows you to provide a project and funding overview. In the following tab, the Log Frame, you need to indicate all projects' outcomes, outputs, indicators, and activities per sector. Then, in the Work Plan tab simply tick the period you plan to carry out each activity. You can hover over a number to display the corresponding month. In the People Targeted tab, provide information related to the people directly and indirectly targeted by the project. Then, you can insert your budget in the Budget tab composed of seven categories. After entering all necessary information, click on Save. Once you have saved this tab, the total budget of your project is automatically displayed in the Overview tab. The Programming tab tracks cross-cutting themes and the effectiveness of humanitarian programming. It includes all pillars of protection. Gender equality. And persons with disabilities. The Cash tab focuses on how cash and voucher assistance is considered in the project, including the mapping of standardized cash indicators. All CVA intervention per sector will be reflected as read only in the Log Frame tab for your reference. In the next tab, the Implementation tab, you can provide all project implementation and coordination consideration. The following sub-grants tab allows you to enter all sub-partners and link them to two other tabs. First, the Section F transfers and grants to counterparts of the Budget tab. And second in the Log Frame tab, sub-implementing partner will be linked to the activities they will support. They will be indicated by this icon next to the activity. The Locations tab allows you to distribute a budget percentage and a percentage of targeted persons to a specific location. This tab is based on the data provided in the Log Frame, People Targeted and Budget tabs. Because the data is interlinked, Ensure you have correctly filled in and saved these three tabs before filling in the Locations tab. 
Finally, the Documents tab allows you to upload documents pertaining to your project proposal by clicking on this button. At the end of each tab, you can leave a comment for the project review team. Once all tabs are validated by the system, you can send your project proposal to OCHA CBPF review. To do so, click on Continue to open your task page. This page provides you with all the steps you can take. At this stage, you can submit your project proposal by clicking here. Remember to submit your project proposal before the deadline. Once submitted, your project proposal will be in a read-only mode and you will not be able to edit it. After submission, your project proposal will follow this workflow, for a standard allocation. You can find guidance on all these steps in the help portal. This is the end of our tutorial video. If you have any question or comment, don't hesitate to contact us.